Hi and welcome to Coffee with My Sunshine. Today's video is going to be another DIY wood project. This one can be used to organize your kitchen or can be used as a gift. If you'd like to join me, then let's get started. All right, today we are doing another scrap wood project and I am using this piece. Can't remember what we used it for, um, but I'm going to be making for this one a, a recipe box. So I'm going to start with the measurements. I think this one is just about three and a quarter. And then the plans that I found online, which I will link in my description box, said it is seven inches long. So we're gonna want two boards that are seven inches long and then um, two boards that are five and a half inches long and that's going to be how wide it is we will also need a bottom but we will get to that in just a second So I changed up the cuts a little bit. I will put the final um, measurements in the description box, but I cut ones a little bit longer because I actually wanted these to be on the outside instead of tucked on the inside because I didn't want the, you know, this edge showing in the front. I wanted it to be a more finished look. So I just went ahead and made this a little bit bigger it is about about six and a quarter um it'll be a tiny bit smaller after i'm done sanding but not much and then that still gives this room or these room to be in here and you know some of them are a little bit bigger some of them are a little bit smaller but these will fit perfectly so you want to show it a little bit of love and sand off these wispy splintery edges and then we'll get to putting it together. I'm rounding my edges just a little bit. Okay, now that you have those all sanded, grab your wood glue. This is the kind I use. And then I'm going to be using some, I don't know if you can see them, <laughs> Um, some thinner nails. I don't have like a brad gun or a nail gun, so I'm just going to be doing this the old-fashioned way. So again, for mine, I want the finished piece on the front instead of having it like this, but you do it however you want. So one of my last videos, I made a birdhouse and I wanted to let you guys know that we already have birds building a nest in there. I tried to get some video, but it was kind of blurry. So I'm going to see if my son can get um, some video that's a little more clear so you guys can see. It is so cute. They are so tiny, but I'm really excited. Got all those in. Now I gotta do this side. This one's a little bit easier. <laughs> I have all that done now I'm going to take this scrap piece and I just put this on here you can measure it too but I just traced it so I know where to make my cuts and that's going to be the bottom all right and now I'm going to give this a good sanding so now I'm just going to attach the bottom in the same way I did the sides It's all together we got our bottom on going to clean up the glue a little bit and then put some stain on there so I'm going to go with this gel stain it's hard to read but it's in hickory I'm going to apply it you want to wear gloves
I think this color is really pretty because it gives it a nice like kind of vintage weathered look. I can always stain it or not stain it, um, sand it a little bit to lighten it up, but it'll lighten a tiny bit as it dries. I don't know if you guys have ever used gel stain, but I really like it. I've used it on a couple other projects. Um, I can link it, link them below. Um, I redid one of my husband's cabinets in it. I think I used a, it was like a really dark brown or black. I can't remember, but I really like how it turned out. And that was over um, an already stained finished piece. You just have to sand it lightly or if you don't feel like getting out any stains, you can go ahead and use the, um, you know, the watered down paint trick, which I've done many times on my channel. And it's just, it's not as stinky, but you can still see the grain. I think it's really pretty. And then after it's done, I'm just gonna wipe off any excess and then let it dry. Alright, and this is what it looks like as it's drying. It's really pretty. And then I picked these up from Staples. It's our local, um, you know, office supply store. And they're just 3 by 5 index cards. Thought I would put those in there. Probably way more than will ever be used, but that's okay. And then I picked these up too, and they were at Staples as well, and they will be my little alphabetical dividers. So I think that's gonna be super cute. Now all I need to find, they didn't have it there, so maybe um, like a craft store or something, one of those metal um, holder things for to put the inserts in so that it can say recipes on there. I ended up finding one on one of our old wooden filing cabinets in the basement. I just soaked it in some vinegar for a couple hours. You can see some of the paint chips in there. Um, and then I'm just taking this scrubby sponge and scrubbing off the remaining paint. And I found if I ran it under hot water, um, the paint came off a lot easier after I'd been soaking in the vinegar. And I looked all over for these label holders. I Well, not all over. That's a lie. <laughs> I looked at Home Depot and I looked at our local hardware store and I couldn't find them. So let me know if you know where to get them. Maybe a craft store or something. Um, but I just uh, made little holes where I wanted to screw in the screws that came with the um, label holder. And this is what it looks like all finished. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this. Please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my videos. And I will link a few more wood project video ideas down in the comment section in the description box. Let me know what you guys would like to see next. Sending you love and hugs. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!